his brown sweatshirt. <laughs> Seriously? John Dorsey, how do we look? Well, I'll tell you what. You look a little um, undersized. <laughs> But you know the best one, though? Now, Willie, I, I'm sitting here looking at Willie the way he wears his. This is probably a winter afternoon in Southern California. <laughs> That's how he wears this thing. Mm -hmm. You help me get dressed, though, John. Oh, yeah? You, you, you know exactly where to put it, how to fold the sleeves and all that. So well, you're a vet at these sweatshirts. And, and, but and you know what, though? It's just it's one of those things. You got one for seven days, and I'm glad to see. But how many do you have? Seven. Seven. And I'm glad to see you really fit into <laughs> mine very well, hey, by the way. This is actually a small. <laughs> they got me a small. I mean, as Willie pointed out, Football players small and me small. is different. Different. Yeah. Now, I saw Tariq Cohen yesterday. He's my size. Taylor Gabriel was here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Tariq, he's my size. Tariq's not your size. He, it's, a, it's a little yeah. more, mu yeah, muscles. Yeah, yeah, it's not your well, size. Let's talk about the 40, though. I mean, you got any speed like no, Tariq? Yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, let's I'm talk. I mean, that's what it's all about. I'm 40. Well, I'm 45 next week. I, okay. I pull a hammy when yeah. I try to do it. So you're in pretty good shape, though. Yeah. No, I think I'm in good shape. I just can't run. Willie's in pretty good shape. I'm in pretty good shape. Willie Not great shape. Nah. I wish. I need to run more. We're wasting right, time. I felt the heat today. Yes, I don't know are. if I can run in this. <laughs> I'm retired. I got a new gig. No, but uh, <laughs> Willie looks good in his NFL 100 shirt. Enough about wardrobe. Let's talk about your team. The team you saw out there today. As you did wear that sweatshirt in the heat under the goalpost there. What would you think of the team you had out there today? Well, you know what? It's, um, you know, as, as you well know, you get, you know, you guys caught the uh, day after the player's day off. Uh, they came back. They competed. You know, Freddie is going to put them uh, in stressful situations, just too kind to see, push them to the limit. Because what we're going to have to do here as a, as a group is uh, there's, there's enough veteran leadership within that locker room now, but they're going to collectively have to set those goals. And, and you know as well as anybody, when veterans set their goals in those expectations very high, now you got to go chase it. That's what training camp is for, is to kind of galvanize that team as one with single purpose, single mindset, and single goals. John, it's kind of an old school mentality with a, with a young school kind of mixed in. You talk about compete. You talk about team over individualism. You talk about guys that are tough, that are mentally tough, that can go through whatever you put them through and be able to stay consistent. Don't be emotional about things. Um, when you look at this team and the way you've constructed this team with your staff and his coach and, and his coaches, um, if you had to pick one thing that you're trying to build here, what is that and what's the identity that you see for this team? I think the, uh, as you well know, they'll set the identity as training camp and we get into preseason games. Um, you know what, the, the, as, I've, as I've watched these guys in the OTAs and I've watched them six days into training camp, the one thing is they like being around each other. And, and, and that's, that's really important. And I love the way that the guys are fundamentally you know, being taught. I mean, the X, I mean, the X and O's are going to be there, but the guys are getting taught fund fundamentals and techniques. But what I like to see is they're, they're enjoying the game of football and they're enjoying to be with each other. And, and that's the first step in you know, kind of putting this thing together. You're good at quarterback. We know you're good at wide receiver. What keeps you up at night? Does right guard keep you up at night? Does kicker keep you up at night? What, 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 where are you worried about? Well, there's a lot of things that keep me up. I was going to say, <laughs> take your pick. I mean, there is a lot of things that keep you up at night, but, you know, you just, you don't want something, you know, really, you know, you don't want something to happen, per se, on the practice field mm -hmm. to a player. I, you, know, you never want that. So right now, knock on wood, we've been pretty good. And what I want to see is I want to see these guys come together as one, and, and slowly but surely that will develop, and that's kind of what you look for. Would you entertain a trade for a veteran offensive lineman? Have you thought about that? Well, I think what we'll do is we will take multiple scenarios as we actually I just left the meeting come down to talk to you all but we were beginning to talk multiple scenarios on different types of possibilities and, and we will play those types of scenarios out as the preseason games go along. Look Andrew John's not going to give you his hand I'm about who's coming in who they're I'm looking trying. at but what I, what I do want to know is did you take into account when you were bringing in players like OBJ and, and Sheldon Richardson the personalities and, 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 and how you kind of make all that gel. Because you can put together a talented roster on paper, but like you said, guys got to care about each other, they got to like each other, and they got to understand that each week it may not be about you. We may have to go in a different direction in order to get the team win versus the individual success. No, I, I agree with that. Unselfishness is a, is a big part of it. But also, you know, it also is a big part of it, and it, it, it's, it sounds simplistic, but it's true. Do you love the game of football? Are you very passionate? Are you good in the locker room? 
And there's a lot of good guys in this locker room that are competitive and passionate oh, yeah. about the game of football. And that's that's kind of what you want on your team. Uh, I'm going to try another business question. You met with Drew <laughs> Rosenhaus a couple of days ago. I did. Yeah. What came of that? Has anyone tried to call up and get him off your hands? Actually, Drew and I had two discussions. Uh -oh. uh, I had one uh, a week before that, I want to say, the the Wednesday when players reported. We had a nice conversation. I heard his position. He heard my position of where we stand with regards to Duke. And then he followed up with that the next week, and we had another conversation. He goes, I hear you. I get, you know what? We're moving forward. Duke's, you know, Duke is a valuable member of this organization moving forward. I think he, uh, Freddie has big plans. Uh, for him in certain packages, situations, he's excited to be here, and that's all you can ask for. Wow, you got Duke here, and I know he's out with the hamstring and all that, but when we look at this team, John, I think you guys have done a great job of, of putting together depth with this team. It's not just the first round, uh, the first uh, string guys. You saw Callaway getting mixed in. You saw Higgins getting mixed in. You saw Hillier getting mixed in with the ones. Um, is that something that Freddie's preparing for now? You can never predict the injuries and all those things that happen, but getting everybody prepared to have a role. And I think that's an important word, a role on this team. Exactly, because when you have roles and understand your responsibilities, and then you're, you become a selfless person because everything is for the team-oriented goal. That's, that's very important. But what we did is, as, as Freddie and I got along and started talking in January, we wanted to have this competitive of roster, you know, from top to bottom as you possibly could and create competition at all spots across the board, be it from the quarterback all the way to the long snapper. All right, we got to go in about 45 seconds. We want to thank you for sitting here, John Dorsey. And I just got to ask you, how do you wear this thing every day? This is not like a dry fit sweat. This thing is heavy. And well, you hot. know what? You know, I have an eight year old son, and he put my sweatshirt on, and you guys fit about it the same way. <laughs> Touche. You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. I mean, of all the things I've done, he was saving that. He was holding that, too. He was this holding is on to that. Certainly one of them. <laughs> John Dorsey, thanks for being a good sport. Yeah, Andrew, <laughs> thank you for being a good sport. <laughs> Willie, always I'm glad a it was him, not me. Yeah, always the general a manager of the Cleveland Browns, John Dorsey.